Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're getting like, it, I guess it's telling that at a seven streak, that just feels like a good day at the at the craps table. Y-E-H-R-9-S-4-E. Like a prayer card, not so bad here, and also piercing shots as well. It's a decent start. Uh, low red heart HP, obviously, but uh, a means to mitigate that very, very quickly. In fact, probably quickly enough that I don't really have to worry about getting HP on this floor. I was a little wary about taking that, but yeah, I don't really have to worry about getting HP immediately because we're going to have red hearts for our deal with the devil anyway. Um, got very lucky just with that uh, fire payout there. It seems like I always accidentally get spirit hearts from fire. Figured we might as well use uh, used notched axe there in order to see if we get a crawl space or something, but without it, uh, not really a big deal. Let's just keep moving on. So far, so good. Um, the fact that we have... Obviously, of course, one room later we get <laughs> uh, Tinted Rock that we probably could have cracked with Notched Axe instead, and more rocks on an absolute level as well. Um, but uh, either way, this is a, a pretty great start. I mean, we already have the damage dealing potential. We don't actually have the raw damage stat, but we have great uh, DPS and DPS potential because of the fact that we have uh, Piercing Shots. Good tier efficiency. It's not a formal stat, but I'm going to try to coin it because I think it's important. Um, that I get my recognition for... No, I'm not going to take it down that road. But uh, tier efficiency, tell your friends and make sure uh, every time you use it, you owe me a nickel. It's like the happy birthday song. Um, we are going... I, I did hear the ruling about the happy birthday song, by the way. I know it's old news now. Figured we might as well pop uh, the death card here. Normally, I'd save it for a big room, but if it's going to make the gurglings, you know, twice as quick to kill... Twice as quick to kill... Coming this fall, 1981, to movie theaters near you. I just thought it sounded like a good catchphrase. Twice as quick to kill. It's a man who makes time go forward at a breakneck speed. Um, I did not expect that I would take damage immediately upon walking upon that creep. In hindsight, probably should have assumed that I would have. Um, I'll tell you what, I will go and check out this curse room in it. As you can tell, ended up not being particularly useful for me, but that's okay. We have protection in the form of our uh, extra spirit hearts around here, and we are going to get another eternal heart right away as well. This would have been a great room to use the death card on as well. No question about it. We would already be done with it. As it all comes down to how much damage we end up taking. Maybe it was worth it, maybe it wasn't. Either way, I'm feeling really good about our chances. We should have a deal with the devil on this floor, and if it ends up giving us... Uh, pretty much any momentum at all, I feel like we've got a... Oh, I feel like, you know, we've got the wind at our back. Is that a good thing? Do you want the wind at your back? Or do you want the wind at your front? I mean, the wind, it kind of, like, it's air, right? It's going to hit you all around. But I guess you want it to be hitting you in the back so you propel yourself forward. Um, that's, that's my analysis of that idiom. It doesn't need to be any more in-depth than that. This is probably just based on the number of rooms that we've gone to without finding a dead end. Our, uh, our trip to the boss fight. And that's exciting. We're on the basement, so the hardest it could be is, like, Headless Horseman. To be honest with you, I would be okay with Headless Horseman. We would kill it, obviously. Um, and at least that's the intention. Would we actually take the item? Probably, like, 60-40 we'd keep Prayer Card. Just because Prayer cards so early can be so valuable. Oh, this is, like, our ideal boss fight here. Um, if, our, if our rate of fire was higher, it'd be even more ideal. But, uh, the fact that we can pretty much hit Larry Jr. like six times for the cost of one is pretty sweet. And of course, it's the champion version of Larry Jr., so we pick up that extra spirit heart as well. And then, little Steven, kind of a nonsense pickup, but we'll take it nonetheless. And the nail, and we kind of, I feel like we have to take the nail, and we might as well use it once, and then we'll take the prayer card down to the next floor. It's kind of unfortunate, I wish that we'd had the opportunity to maybe, uh, get something that gives us a, a persistent benefit, but we paid basically two red hearts, two floors worth of prayer card for a, um, for deal with the devil precedent. Is that worth it? Time will tell. There's a chance it won't be. If we end up, you know, missing this deal with the devil just due to probability, and then we miss the next deal with the devil due to probability, next one's Krampus, then miss the next two after that, was precedent worth it? Almost certainly not. In most other situations, or just most situations in general, we usually find that, um, deal with the devil precedent is really really valuable so we need to kite these guys they are they're not slower than us let's put it that way we've either got a similar speed maybe I'm a little bit faster but uh, want to make sure we're keeping in on these guys so that we can actually knock them out no pennies thus far no money or did I miss one no doesn't look like it uh, no money is uh, 
let's put it this way. If I have to have no money or no keys, I'd rather have no money. I will admit that, but I would, uh, I'd much rather have a little nice combination of both. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be in the cards for us. This floor has the chance to set the tone for us, because I'm a little bit scared right now. Please, do we have to do this song and dance over and over? Uh, I'm a little bit scared right now that I'm never going to get uh, damage. And I, that's just a normal uh, kind of thing, right? It's like when you're in when you're in sixth grade, you're like, I'm never going to graduate high school. That's forever away. And then you do it, and it's gone forever. And you're like, well, the, it was uh, 20 years ago now. It wasn't 20 years ago for me. But we're, you know, we're getting there, I guess. Um, it, that's kind of how this feels right now. Probably we will look on this back or look back on this run as a win, and we will eventually get damage, and we'll be like, why were we even worried about it in the first place? Um, but for right now, there is that chance, because we don't have very much damage right now, even though I talked about our DPS potential in the future, um, there's a chance that we'll never get it. So it's a little bit anxiety-inducing. Um, I guess I should have used that earlier, if I was able to use it earlier. I'm not sure if it just became available or not. Um, this is one of the first floors you may actually have an opportunity to, uh, get more than one HP, but we need to get six more rooms of combat, or the ability to get a battery charge somewhere, which is very doable, hopefully. Anyway, let's work our way down here. Um, so right now we're a little bit anxious about that. Uh, I, I'd really like to put those uh, fears to rest, even just like picking up the Pact or the Mark or Small Rock or something like that, Blood of the Martyrs, Stigmata, really anything that I can get to just um, assuage that, uh, that anxiety demon right now would be awesome. That is like one full spirit heart to an enemy I should not be losing one full spirit heart against. And there, I think there is a little bit of a discussion to be had about whether the the nail would have been the right decision to actually take with us. I mean, I, there's a couple of, this is why I like Isaac, but um, there's an, or Rebirth specifically, there's a number of different permutations there. Um, should we have done what we did? Pick up the nail, use it, put it down. Costs us two red hearts, we get a spirit heart, we get to keep the prayer card. Or, should we have traded the prayer card for the nail? Effectively, they do exactly the same thing, except the, um... Nail gives you that damage bonus, the ability to crush rocks once every six rooms, and also spirit hearts instead of red hearts, which are less valuable in the early game, I think, and more valuable in the late game. Uh, much more valuable in the late game, in fact. And um, there's a third one, which was don't even trade your red hearts for it. Just, you know, maybe you'll give yourself a deal with the devil instead. That's one that's like, or deal with the angel instead, I should say. That's one that is like almost impossible to evaluate because there's so many ifs, but I really like that this is a seed that might inspire like some Gwyneth Paltrow sliding doors stuff, you know? Um, there, there's a number of different, I can't believe I continue to use that reference. I'm not even a particularly big fan of that movie, I've just, I saw it once when I was like six or something like that, and I guess the premise has stuck with me as a very convenient shorthand uh, metaphor. Um, we'll take the pill and just see what it is. Bombs are key, that's actually maybe good. At the very least, fine. Good might be a small stretch, but uh, uh, let's just keep it up here. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. I, I'm okay. What I was getting at, I guess, is that I, I just like that this one, there's a number of different outcomes, and they might all be correct answers, or two out of three might be correct answers, or, or one out of three might be correct answers, or it's possible that this RNG is just going to be so bad later on this run that we'd be fucked either way. Uh, so that's that's one of the things I like a lot about, about Isaac and, and Rebirth in particular. Now, I did take a lot of spirit heart damage here that I'm not particularly thrilled with, but given the... If we were given the choice, let's put it that way, between um, getting this extra charge or keeping some spirit hearts, I'd rather get the extra charge, and we did, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I think this might be our secret room. It is indeed, and that is a lot of money, so now we definitely should go to our shop uh, battery charge is no longer useful, but here's my dream scenario. What if we get a 9 volt and a battery charge? Uh, there's a battery charge, and there's BFF. I'll take BFF, because I think it scales well. And then I'm going to take the battery charge, but I'm not going to use it right away. We could have gotten the Spirit Heart instead, and that might have actually been the right decision. But I figure, why don't we go down to the next floor with a full prayer card charge? That way we have a much better chance. Oh, wow. Actually, this worked out. It's We shouldn't have bought the battery charge yet, but there's no way we could have known this, of course. Um, are you a wizard? So, it is, that gave us another little bit of HP. And we have a full battery charge for the next floor. So, that basically, I can stick with exactly the same MO that I used right there. Hopefully, this gets all three. It only got one? Oh, well, basically, that one, we got an HP upgrade from that, uh, pill. And the information that there's a balls of, not balls of steel, a 48-hour energy pill in our rotation. So, um, that, that gave us a lot of red hearts right there. 
and the the future potential for more unfortunately actually this is a great opportunity for me to completely nullify what I was about to say but basically what I'm getting at is I'm pretty stoked that we're fighting a an enemy that can give us a uh, spirit heart there so that we don't lose out on our deal with the devil chance and I figured we'd take an extra crack at this one to try to get to uh, a 48 hour energy pill we didn't get one and that's okay you know the odds were against us but I figured it would be awesome to pick one up right now while we have no charges we get bad trip we also got piggy bank from our shop in case you're just watching and uh, or in case you're just listening and not actually watching so piggy bank is not a very noteworthy item it, it will increase the amount of money we make on this run pretty much full stop uh, now there is a tinted rock available here I would love to be able to take advantage of that tinted rock just want to be careful there we go this room is gonna be a total pain in the dick I'm hoping that maybe little Steven is a little bit better for us now because of the BFF pickup because the homing tears will hit a lot of things there we go that actually did a great job uh, the homing tears will hit a lot of things it mostly comes down to whether or not it actually has a chance to kill them and the answer normally is no <laughs> little Steven is kind of just like it's there that one might do it oh really this is gonna super slow us down I haven't really considered uh, the possibility of us getting to boss rush on this run it is doable I'd say the odds of it are pretty pretty subpar at this point but you know stranger things have happened there we go we got one now it's just this guy left we could just get a little Steven to actually hit that's why I tried to put him in the middle there and it actually worked probably a little bit more you know engineering and theory crafting than we actually had to do there but at least it got the job done you know there's no uh, there's no substitute for a job done right maybe this will take us to 12 only 11 cents Thought counterfeit penny might carry a little bit more of the work than it did there and uh, we do have a bomb so I should not have come to this room and now I'm freaking myself out and I'm like I'm gonna take damage I'm gonna take that I knew I lost my eternal heart well if we were only gonna get one on this floor that doesn't really matter that much um, I should have gone back to that uh, tinted rock that we were unable to explode earlier and exploded it kind of a big misplay might might end up costing us one HP in the whole scheme of things then we took red heart damage that's so much worse um, okay that was stupid of me it, I didn't realize it would cost me so much but it is what it is right we should have gone back here and blown this up and yeah would have given me two spirit hearts I mean that's the that's the smart money so I'm not surprised very disappointed in myself though got to admit hopefully it doesn't end up biting us in the ass too hard and we were only two rooms away from our boss which just makes it that much more annoying and it's a relatively easy enemy when you have piercing shots so I'm disappointed but at the same time there is still a chance for us to pull this out and the more red hearts we have the better little Chad is gonna be so it's not great to miss out on our deal with the devil chance here but we do have kind of a not a silver lining I'm missing out on the deal with the devil chance but a silver lining from this boss fight is that with a lot of red hearts we can make really good use out of uh, out of little Chubb or little Chad sorry throughout the game and no deal with the devil as expected as expected so we are gonna do more exploration and try to figure out what we can gleam from this floor there is still a chance to get three HP what is wrong with you um, there is still a chance to get three plays I should say out of the uh, the prayer card we need four more rooms of combat and a battery charge or two battery charges and uh, it would be awesome if we get the battery charge here because I otherwise stand a pretty good chance to take some damage oh that was very close to exploding in my face no battery charge that's all right there is a battery charge and a spirit heart and nuns habit for sale so I think first we buy nuns habit then we buy the spirit heart and then we explore and see if we can't get a um, just an, another payouts not another payout another like two rooms or three rooms of combat and I can even get hit twice to make this happen if I want to do I want to do that not specifically I if possible I'd rather avoid the damage but hey there you go there's one uh, and actually we could play is there a there might be a, an arcade on this floor we'll see after we use it once we can get another play out of it just via the arcade and then maybe fill up the hard container I don't know maybe a bomb here would be nice one of the few situations in which a troll bomb would have been totally fine but it's okay as well we will get another battery charge so I don't think we ended up fucking ourselves too much but we might have been able to even uh, eke one more HP out of it if we played our cards right 
Well, that's my own idiocy, and that's, you know, it's, it's okay. It is what it is. It's smarter for us to go right to the shop, but I'm just going to clear out the rest of the floor because we can. So I don't really care about that. And I really doubt we're going to have too many more rooms of combat. If we, if we get halfway to a charge, I'll be a little mad at myself, but that's about it. And we've lost our spirit heart again. That's, you know, I will take ownership for that. That's my own idiocy in thinking we have more damage than we actually do. And there's a half of our charge, so at this point I'm like, maybe we should just eat shit. Like, walk on spikes a couple of times. So that we can get to a full charge. I mean, we're not very far away. We have a few red hearts here because of little chubs, so... Little Chad. One of these days I'll get that right. Why not just, like, throw this chance into it? We get some extra money out of it, and there's our charge right there. Then we don't even have to spend the money to buy what we were going to buy in the first place. Save five cents. We actually not only saved five cents, but gained, like, even more money out of the situation to begin with there. Um... Suffice it to say, I'm not thrilled with how our damage looks right now. But we can, you know, build on that in the future. No spirit hearts. is That's just my own stupidity coming through. I see your true stupidity shining through when you walk on the spikes. I know you have a single digit IQ. Doesn't really work. But it did give me a chance to exercise those vocal muscles that I... You know, I'm thinking I'll probably play Carnegie Hall next year. This whole YouTube thing's going pretty well. So, should work out. This is great. 48-hour energy, pretty much like exactly what we want. Even if we take Red Heart damage, we got a lot of HP working for us here. We can finally find an easy way to get rid of that Are You a Wizard... Oh, that Are You a Wizard pill as well, which is annoying. Because, like, you hold it and you're like, maybe one day it'll be better. The only way that gets better is if you pick up... Uh, Starter deck, which admittedly can happen, but um, it's not super likely. I can't believe that I didn't kill him before that happened. At the same time, I recognize that it is my own stupidity causing me to take red heart damage there, and it's also my own stupidity on the last floor that caused me to take uh, enough spirit heart damage to put us in that position right off the bat. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty cheesed off, if I'm being honest with you. I'm cheesed off right now. Um, it's really looking like the nail was a much stronger choice, but uh, we're, we're saddled in for this run, so let's uh, let's try to make it work, you know? Might as well pop this. I mean, we, we have nuns have it. We have no real shortage of uh, abilities to get more HP, like to get more charges for prayer cards. So I really feel like this is one of those runs right now that is like a pseudo train wreck, almost in a good way, even though I very rarely mean it in a good way. Um, we're gonna get hit here. Yeah, there goes our eternal heart. But, um, we're gonna get to max HP at some point, unless we get some deals with the devil. Like, if, if something comes up in a positive way, that would be awesome. But, uh, we're gonna be very, very hard to kill. We have little Chad, which I got right for once. And we're gonna have 12 heart containers. So we're gonna be able to, to sustain some damage, you know? It, it's not enough to guarantee us, like, unkillability, but we're gonna be very tough to kill. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't use the... Pr I'm gonna use it. I don't, I don't think it matters that much, let's put it that way. But, we're also... It's gonna take us forever to kill enemies. At least that's the way it's... Yep, there it goes. That's the way it's looking right now. Uh, like, even just at this point, obviously a high-octane offensive item is important. If I could snag that, I'd be thrilled. Short of that, give me the ability to fly, because I need to find a way to put ourselves in a position where we're not going to get completely screwed. Oh, good. Um... So, if, if I can just wedge myself into a corner and then hit an enemy 40 times to kill them, hey, that's that's one way to win the game, no question about it. I hope that we don't, uh, that we don't have to do that. I hope that I play this, this fight right, right here, and as a result, I end up, uh, getting a deal with the devil, and then we can use that deal with the devil to, to kind of vault us into a better position, but... Do I see that happening? I'm on the fence right now. This would be a really good start if the game takes a little pity on us. And again, let me let me stress, this is not bad RNG, really. It's my own fault. My own idiocy in taking so much, uh, so much damage. But this is, uh, the first real test we've had in at least seven or eight runs here. Well, I mean, eight runs ago we died, so probably seven runs is what I'm thinking. Now, we should, because we have piercing shots, we should say, Oh my god! We should say thank you to the Piercing Shot God for giving us an easy play against Mask of Infamy. At least we got a damage upgrade there. We're just, um, right now we're kind of in this weird little limbo where we're not really doing super well 
uh, on damage. We're doing great on HP. We don't have particularly high speed. We don't have particularly high rate of fire. We have BFF, but our familiars suck, like the, except for little Chad, which is actually a pretty principal part of our chances for success. But um, we need we need something to break, you know, and and a seam that we can start to exploit if we're gonna uh, if we're gonna improve here. I think we should pop this. We can always hurt ourselves enough. Let's say we lose this Eternal Heart. We can always hurt ourselves enough to get another one charge anyway. I figure we might as well throw ourselves, you know, all in here for the chance to get three. Like a battery charge in here would be awesome. No, instead we almost lost it just by getting blown up. Uh, also, like, if we could find a Tinted Rock. Maybe I'm missing them because I have the map overlay on. But if we could find a Tinted Rock, I'd be pretty stoked about that. They forced me into a position where I almost had to take damage from the diagonal shot if they had used it there, so lucky me, I guess. Fool card is going to be irrelevant because we're not doing boss rush. And that's okay. Right? We can actually still use this for a, a good teleport. Book of Belial versus Prayer card. Uh, no, but thank you, I guess. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe we will take it at this point. The guaranteed deals of the devil are probably going to be worth more than Prayer card. Yeah, this... I can't believe I almost stuck with the prayer card in this situation. Now that I look at it with a, a somewhat more objective eye for longer than like 10 seconds, I'm like, yeah, that's... We want Book of Belial here. What are we, Book of Belial is worth whatever HP we're going to lose from not having prayer card. I think, at least. Even if we lose the HP we're holding right now, I'm not going to be too salty over it. Tower. Mm. Do I want to go to the curse room? Yes. Do I want to lose this eternal heart to do so? I mean, losing a Spirit Heart is one thing, but, you know, this relatively early in the game to lose uh, an Eternal Heart doing it is kind of a tall order, I think. Probably just go instead. We know the Secret Room's not going to be adjacent. Don't get me wrong, that's the right decision if you can find a way to protect your Spirit Heart somehow. Oh, you know what? We still haven't found our shop, so we should uh, work our way down here. I forgot that that was a library. And if it's going to be a library, it paid out with the item we wanted it to pay out with. There's our shop. So we shouldn't take damage here. You know what? Let's let's get into good habits here. This might be a run where good at oh my god, there goes the eternal heart. This might be a run where good habits end up being uh, making all the difference. Although immediately there, I took damage after popping it. That's not Book of Belial's fault, but so be it. Now we can go to the curse room. Maybe it's a small blessing in disguise. There is also a battery. There's no battery charge though, so we're fine with that either way. Two pills. Luck up. I, this is worth it. It might not be worth losing the HP, but it was worth going into the room for the luck up for sure. Now we don't need to worry about red heart damage because we have Book of Belial, so I can feel pretty good about that. So I'm not even going to buy the spirit heart. I'll buy the key just to make sure we can keep opening stuff up. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, sloppy play here, but at the same time, having a, having a good time. And I do think that with 8 HP and a Book of Belial, we've got a pretty good shot. It would be really nice to pick up some extra damage, though. We're... Lagging behind it, almost to an absurd degree in that department right now. Basically, Jesus Juice and then the fact that we have piercing shots is what's what's doing work for us right now. Alright, that's that's fine. You might be saying, why don't you go get prayer card, hurt yourself a lot, and then play the crap out of that uh, that room? Well, because whenever we take damage the next time. The most let's put it this way, the most we can get out of that is one HP. And that's not worthless, but at eight HP, I'm like, ah, I don't. I mean, I see the value. I'm just saying I'm too lazy. You've been there. I know we've got some people out there, you know, perpetually the smartest kid in the class, but not doing the homework. I'm just saying I can relate to you. This is this is me relating to you right now. Okay, let's um, play this a couple times to see what we get. 48 hour energy. Do we want 48 hour energy or the fool? I honestly think we want the fool. As ridiculous as that might sound. And I mostly just wanted a little bit more money out of that as well. Because um, 48 hour energy Book of Belial, especially when we already have the battery, doesn't seem that valuable to me. What does seem valuable is the ability to get out of uh, get out of a curse room without taking an extra hit. Uh, get out of a mob trap room without it, taking an extra hit. Or without taking any hits, maybe. I would like some spirit hearts here, just for shits and giggles, if we can get them. Uh, I don't want to teleport out of this, so I'd rather teleport out of a, a trap room. That way we don't have to fight in it and we can get the items that are in it for free. By the way, you might be saying, wow, you're taking a lot of damage on this floor. I agree! <laughs> I agree with your assessment of how things are going right now. Um, my hope is that that won't continue. 
But as of right now, we are hemorrhaging HP at a, a rate that I'm not very comfortable with. We can afford to, for a little while. Unicorn Horn is not what we need. Good habits, good habits. Pop this, don't take damage this time. I mean, it's still taking like six shots to kill the little dingles. Not not the dips, but the like secondary dingles. Um, with Book of Belial active, that's that's a little prohibitive, but we have to we have to recognize that this is like step one on the it's probably we're like step four on the stage of a tilt. So um, you know, you get to step one, you get to step two, it doesn't really matter that much, you get into step three, step four, you know, a tilt is is potentially en route, so uh, it, it's important for us to play smart, good fundamentals, try to still continue to try to dodge. Don't internally give up before you visibly give up, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. So just um, try to keep playing smart. Even that damage, like, that's that's not indicative of a tilt. There's, there's good damage. There's, there's almost unpreventable damage involved there. But it would be really nice to get something good from our shop. <laughs> it would be really nice to get not another active item from our item room. Obviously, I know we've already been to it on this floor and that's not going to happen. It would be really nice to get a good deal with the devil. This is one of those situations where I'd like to play my carry me card. If we could just get carried, I would be thrilled. That's probably going to be our final room next to the boss here. Like, I, I don't see a reason to explore too much more. Arcade doesn't interest me that much. Unfortunately, we kind of need our red hearts. Okay, PhD is absolutely fine. Get a telepills out of it. I'd still prefer the fool card. Um, we will pay for the deck of cards just to see if we get a better card. We got justice out of it. We got chariot or fool. I think we're better off with Chariot even than the Fool or Telepills. Then we'll donate as much money as possible. Hello, Ruka. How's it going? You want to jump up on my computer boxes again? I bet you do. I bet you do. We're going to cross 900 cents here. As far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much a representation that we have completed our donation machine. It is. It has made it back to where it should be. Fantastic. Uh... Yeah, Chariot is is okay. We'll try to use it on maybe a big room. For now, let's uh, look for a second secret room, maybe. And if we don't find one, or even if we do, it's time to fight Mom. So we'll immediately pop this. This is where things need to be good. <laughs> we paid for a deal with the Devil precedent. We paid two red hearts for a spirit heart and a deal with the Devil precedent. It's a trade that looks positively Jim Benning-esque until we... Uh, find ourselves in a position where we can actually gleam something from those deals. You might be saying, well, you shouldn't have paid for it anyway because you'd have deal with the devil uh, guarantees from the Book of Belial. And while you are potentially correct, um, we might have gotten deal with the angels instead. And I'd rather have deals with the devil. Of course, you could also make the case some deals with the angel are awesome. That's true. Some deals with the devil are shitty. That's true. But mostly, on average, one deal with the devil tends to be better than one deal with the angel. I think. And we're going to beat Mom uh, fairly easily here. We took a little bit of damage, but, you know, less than we might have expected considering how much damage we've taken on the on route here. This is now the important moment. Our deal with the devil is Krampus. You expect this to happen, and I'm not, I'm not too annoyed by it. Lump of Coal would be a great pickup here. Then, it's all about not getting an XL floor on our next floor. And if that happens... If we don't get an XL floor on our next floor, we get to extend hope a little longer. Look, we're not going to become guppy on this run in all likelihood. Um, we're not going to get, you know, Brimstone Ludovico technique or anything like that. But we can survive and win and then look forward to the next run. No mapping is also annoying here, but... Like, this would be the worst room to use the Chariot card on, man. We also should use um, Book of Belial more often because we're going to take some damage. Like, that's just... That's how it's going to go. And we have Nun's Habit. So pretty much most rooms that we have the opportunity to pop it, I think we should pop it. Like this room, absolutely. Even if we do end up using Book of Belial on this room, I think it's worth it to use both. Or even if we end up using the Chariot is what I meant to say. Um, I think it's okay to use both. Like this is not very encouraging that this is how much damage Book of Bel Belial is letting us do. But it is what it is. We're still involved here, and that's, uh, it's nice 
It's nice to be uh, a part of the run still. We can do this. We uh, we can do this and get hit once. <laughs> it's acceptable. I think this is our chariot room. And I'm not going to worry about, you know, high value targets. Just going to worry about getting as many knocked out as possible. Probably we should use Book of Belial here. Even though there's only two enemies left. Might be going overboard, but there we go. We've, we've maximized it. Got a charge anyway. Oh, this guy's still alive, too. I need to increase my resolution to find you. Oh, come on. I hate fighting these assholes when our shot speed is not, like, instant. It's like some Silence of the Lambs shit. Got him, finally. No, uh... No battery charge, but that's okay. He kind of gave us a battery charge anyway. Surprisingly close. Oh, they broke free! That is also an indication that your damage kind of sucks. <laughs> when those guys are breaking free on you. But, hey, this is like our ideal enemy. Fistula. Relatively low HP, piercing shots, tears them up like uh, tissue paper. This is ideal. Back at our maximum half-heart interval. Man, I wonder. I wonder if I even want to know what these deals with the devil would have made this run look like. We could have so easily maybe had a chance to take this run no questions asked, you know? Instead, yeah, that is not surprising. Instead, I find myself in this... Kind of unenviable situation where I have I've squandered my own potential to a large extent. I keep taking these half hearts, by the way, because it's unlikely it matters soon that uh, we're at a half heart interval. And little Chub is gonna or little Chad, sorry, is gonna keep dropping these red hearts. So I feel like we might as well. Might as well pop this once as well. Maybe silly to just waste Book of Belial. Good stuff. I am going to check this. It's going to be an expensive trip to the curse room, but... Two spirit hearts pretty much pays for itself. I can see forever is nice. Pretty fly is also good. That ended up being a great decision. Uh, so I'm happy with that. And there is our regular secret room. I'm getting a little bit less zany. I can feel it. Uh, not, in, not in terms of my, you know, ethos. You know, if a six room shows up, I'm obviously rerolling this run. That's actually the strategic good choice, I think, right now. But uh, in terms of... Uh, in terms of uh, my commentary, I'm like, okay, you know what? First time in a little while, first time in maybe like three or four days, we got to nut up and actually play Rebirth and focus on being smarter because you've already squandered your chances. Cat, why is there fur all over my green screen? That's going to be the title of my autobiography. Why is there fur all over my green screen? The answer, you'll find out on page 69, is because the cat was uh, next to it. Um, you really shouldn't do that. It's notoriously hard to clean. It's okay. There's nothing to worry about right now. Why is our shot speed so bad? Okay, what is in our second secret room? Bunch of red hearts. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this at all. We should pop Book of Belial here. Why not? We still have a charge ready for the next room. We're probably going to get hit a couple times on the boss fight. That, that pays for its usage right there. I knew little Steven had it in him. Okay. What do we got? It's Conquest. So automatically, we know we're not going to get what we want from the boss fights. Um, White Pony is... it's... <laughs> I'm torn, because Book of Belial, obviously the active effect is much better. But we're going to lose out on the Deal with the Devil bonus soon. I think it's actually in our best interest to probably take White Pony now that I think about it. But I would have just preferred to not take White Pony. Let's see what's in our Deal with the Devil. It's Mom's Knife, so we've won the game. Uh, pretty much out of nowhere. We will take, uh, Missing Page 2. And I will take White Pony, because the ability to fly is more important for us so that we don't get hits than the actual, um... Than the actual damage bonus, which is way less relevant now that we actually have Mom's Knife associated with this run. So we should win. It doesn't mean we will win, but we should win. Low damage Mom's Knife is kind of, uh... 
A little bit for me, Notorious. It's kind of like a low damage Azazel run. You end up getting into that Isaac fight and you take a bunch of damage because you expect him to die faster than he does. Um, but, it, you know, low damage Mom's Knife is still a lot better than low damage pretty much anything else. And it also doesn't take very much to take it to the next level. And we can also use the White Pony's active effect here. What are we going to use it for? I don't know. It's a, it's a very good question. <laughs> I'll use it on rooms like this, where there's a lot of bullshit enemies, and maybe we can expedite the process of taking them out. Uh, keep in mind, yes, we did take dumb damage there, but we do still have little Chad. So we're still going to be able to pick up Red Hearts pretty regularly, pretty reliably. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. And yeah, this basically we picked up one of the items that is actually going to make it possible for us to, to win. So I appreciate that. Um, and this, this should be a win now, and you know what? I said two floors ago, I'm going to use my carry me card. There's our carry me card. Carry, carry me. I may not be able to carry the ring, Mr. Frodo, but I can carry you. That's not what Samwise Gamgee sounds like, but anyway. Um, before you tell me that's not what Samwise Gamgee uh, smells like, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, hopefully we don't. I don't know what Samwise Gamgee smells like. Potatoes, maybe? I mean, that's like the obvious joke answer. Um... I was hoping that that was not a six room because we've already we've gone through the ups and downs on this run. Balls of steel, huh? You know what? Tell appeals me, baby. Where are we gonna be? Have we been this? I think we're like literally in the same room we were in earlier. We have been this way. All right. I love Curse of the Lost, dog. It is just a glorious time for all involved. There we go. Remember when we were fighting Chubb earlier and he took forever? Do you remember that, Ruka? You're looking at me like you're gonna answer, but then sometimes I remember you're a cat, so you're just mostly just gonna sit there, which is fine. You know, that's your that's your job. That's your prerogative. I'm gonna murder these guys slowly, if you need some commentary on what I'm doing there. And then we're gonna move up, and hopefully this is our way to get to the uh, boss fight here. If we can get to the cathedral... And maybe get down to the chest after that while having all of our red hearts left. I'll consider that a pretty big win. I'll consider that pretty much unassailable proof that we are going to win. Even though that's not really how it works. Balls of Steel helps out a lot. And Balls of Steel helps out a lot. To the point where I probably should have taken that with us instead of uh, using it right there. It cost us a spirit heart net. I, I have no idea where we're supposed to go. Are you happy, game? I wish I could pay, like, three spirit hearts and just be like, you know what, take me to the exit. I will pay for I'll pay that convenience charge. I recognize the values that I find important in my life, and this, you know, mental cartography is not one of them. I don't think we've been this way. Well, if you didn't want to deal with this, you should have just bought Black Candle. Where was Black Candle on this run? Was it in one of those deals with the devil I missed? Because that's the only that's the only thing I could think of. This is it seems like a very long floor. It's like, you know, when you're walking in the dark. Or in the dark, everything seems bigger. That's a much better way to phrase that. So it can possibly be me hilariously misinterpreted. Um, you know, with Curse of the Lost, you don't know where you're going. So it feels like it takes a lot longer to get there. I find it's like a, a song. You know, the first time you listen to a song, it always seems longer than it's ever seen, than it's ever going to seem again. So this is just like a beautiful time to use our active effect here as the pony. Pretty much tore him up. And if we can just take two pony charges into our uh, boss fight, I would consider that pretty good. Um, watch out. This might be another good room to use uh, pony's active effect on. Keep a ride in my pony. I... Don't want to actually do that room. I'm kind of like, <laughs> without sounding like I'm done with this run, I'm done with this run. I'm ready to move on. We put in our, we put in our dues. Got lucky, I'll admit. Like that, this is not a run where my, you know, oh, it's a triumph of personal skill over the, the, the heinous RN Jesus. No, this is not. This is a situation where I probably should be mired in train wreck as a result of my poor play. Instead, we got carried, but kind of like it's just more like, eh, you know. It's not the best 
combination of items. Let's put it that way. Like, our synergy right now is basically like, well, we have a big pointy thing and we point it at the enemies and when it hits them, it does, it hurts real bad. Like, it's, we don't have any kind of special stuff going on there. Which is unfortunate for entertainment value, but great for simplicity. No question about that. Great. Um, one of those is Balls of Steel, is it not? not? Just a third pretty fly. That's also fine, though. Could check that out. Probably should. The door is open. And there's a battery charge and a couple of keys. But at this point, I'm in full, like, indignant mode. I'm like, I don't need these keys. We're just going to fight Blue Baby and Isaac, and we're going to win the game. And that's all it takes. At this point, we probably should take Pinky Eye. No question about that. And we'll come in for the Isaac fight, and boop. And maybe, like, a little boop. That's not quite as much damage as I would have thought, but we did pretty much almost skip the entirety of the uh, Angel Fetus stage. Which, I think if we could all go back to high school, we'd all want to skip that stage. The Angel Fetus stage, one of the more awkward stages of uh, any young adult's life. But, you know, you gotta go through it and make you into the adult that you uh, that you become today. Hopefully we can finish this in the next phase, and that was pretty much a perfect shot to be able to do so. And it looks like we're gonna be able to do so fairly easily. And now things are speeding up like crazy. This is no problem whatsoever here, right, Ruka? Ruka. His tail wagged. He's into it. Curse of the Lost. Fantastic. My favorite. Soy milk? No. You know what? I get the I get the ability to say no to soy milk here. Because I took soy milk on mom and mom's knife on a recent run. Maybe you've heard of it. It's the one that uh, ruined uh, my life. We would probably, well, possibly still be on the streak that we were on earlier if we had not taken it. So, I'm not going to take it. Admittedly, now, again, people are going to be like, well, if you just not taken Mom's Knife on this one, you would have had soy milk, you would have had piercing shots, you would have had lump of coal. That's pretty good. Stop with the soy milk apologies. Now I'm getting people that are tweeting me, and they're like, hey, stop calling soy milk a shit item. Soy milk, I am the one who stands up for soy milk on every occasion. Cobalt will be like, man, I'm not taking soy milk. That item sucks. And I'll be like, oh, do it. You should do it. Don't be scared. It's fun. You don't need to paint me as, like, some kind of soy milk enemy. You're alienating the only allies you've got in this, you know, soy milk uh, war here. I am pro-soy milk. It's just not what we need in this situation. And if I could only choose to have soy milk or mom's knife, you don't want to give me that ultimatum because you're not going to like what I choose. Now, if you could just... Die and actually perhaps drop like a black candle that would okay. Never mind. We'll just keep exploring here There's a time and a place for a soy milk and it is not in this situation where I know that it would ruin our run Because we have first-hand experience of it ruining almost exactly the same run Now the stakes aren't quite as high here early on, but still uh, we definitely will take uh, Mega mr. Mega because mega mr. Mega is a great item and it also synergizes well with Sad Bombs. Sad Bombs are going to do, have hopefully, a lot of damage for us. We get them a lot lately. And you know what? They are always welcome. Sad Bombs are always welcome on my runs. Worst case scenario, it's the best bomb synergy and five bombs. Best case scenario, hilarious, like, screen-filling uh, bomb interactions that, uh, you know, make uh, get the people excited. Get the people riveted talking about it. Yeah, just walk right into the haunt. I think that that's a strategy that pays dividends, mostly. That didn't work at all. But one bomb will finish him, I think. Yeah. The haunt is actually, if I may say so, kind of a little, uh, little, little, little bee with a big P. No way, I got it opposite. The big bee with a little P. Doesn't really have that much HP, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to stand here. And if you get hit, then that's your own fault. Why am I standing right next to my own bomb? That's a great question. I should at least move to the other side of the boss. 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 Other side of the boss. Anyway. Let's let uh, Dead Bird finish the job. That was very satisfying. Thanks for watching. Could have had triple shot for that, but no. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.